Um, hello, yeah, welcome back to BS Live. Um, today we're gonna continue with our uh, Blender 2.8 um, explorations, and today we're gonna try to cover um, just what's really interesting with Blender 2.8 is the EV rendering and also um, the matcap. Today we have another Blender 2.8 updates. It's still in alpha. Uh, the one that I'm using here, it's a uh, 2.8 and you can see the hash if you want to totally match the one the version that I'm using um, Yeah, the, ap apart from the EV rendering you have to know that um, it, it also comes with a really powerful cycles rendering cycle is not real-time EV is like almost like real-time. It's it's like for your 3d viewport and it's really really um, fast and it's uh, in, a, in a previous version of Blender 2.79 and previous, if you want to uh, have like a really nice look on the 3D viewport, it takes a bit uh, a bit more tweaking in order for the material to look good. But uh, with Blender 2.8, uh, it's gonna look good anyway. So I'm gonna get started and just uh, open, open up uh, a file. And this is actually I think a scan of um, Aimi Sakiguchi. Um, she's one of, of I think, uh, like a VR artist, and I happen to have uh, her three D scan of uh, model. So I'm gonna save it as Aimi's two or Aimi's one. Okay, so I have her model. This one doesn't have any materials, but I will assign a simple texture. Um, so this is the default that what you get. Um, if you import a, like a model, 3D model, or model it yourself, if I try to create some light, you can't really see anything. But you need to change the shading modes. Perhaps the the third one. Okay, the third one, and we start to see the EV rendering start to kick in. But the light often is a, a bit bright, so we need to reduce the energy. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Give some light at the back. So if you ever want to do like a 3D uh, studio, like a virtual 3D studio um, using Blender with 2.8, it's gonna be like heaps, heaps uh, cooler because you can get really nice look, uh, like almost like realistic render, even just on the 3D viewport thanks to the EV uh, render engine. So we can try a different color. I tend to give like a yellowish and bluish, just like the basic default light. But she still doesn't have any uh, material, so I will try to give a bit of material. So simple material, just assign a shader, like a color shader, color map shader. So now it's still thinking. Okay, cool, save it, just in case it crashes. So give it a base color, just image texture, she already have uh, um, she has a UV map I think okay cool that's that's better oh actually I need to get rid of this decimate all right so now it's a bit better probably give it a bit of floor all right so just that's a basic floor and yeah and you can play around with the light you can really see it looks really realistic. It even had get a shadow, and uh, and for the floor, in order to reflect, you might also want to give it a maybe give it a shader. And here in the in this uh, render settings, we can turn on maybe turn on the bloom at least and play around with the threshold so it's not too bright with the glows. Uh, actually, I kind of like the glow, so just a little bit. And also, we can turn on the screen space reflection. So that's going to add a lot, especially with the floor, if we just uh, enable the metallic and also reduce the roughness. I think we can see her reflections. There you go. That's like real-time reflections. That's really cool, right? This is EV rendering. Uh, in Blender and yeah that's actually 
pretty much it um, I want to show you. Um, EV is very powerful, but uh, remember you can also switch to cycles. I'm not gonna switch to cycles yet, but I think cycles is also almost real time. Uh, okay, yeah, now this is actually cycles rendering. It's gonna be much more realistic than EV. EV is just like a preview, but a preview is already looking pretty well, like really, really realistic. But uh, with a uh, EV, it's a uh, basically like um, like a game engine in itself. And oh yeah, Matcap. I almost forgot. We can enable uh, Matcap. Uh, see, even with the Matcap, now we we can have we can see the color. We can we have a bunch of a new Matcap. Um, so it's because this is three D, we can simply duplicate uh, Aini Chan and give it a random color and with the matte cap yeah we are actually with we, we have have a lot more matte cap uh, we can choose um, if I'm not wrong we can also multiply the matte cap with the color. So if we go to the to the material here and then go to the viewport display and use the diffuse for the diffuse color, we can choose a different color. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. But anyhow, with the matte cap, you get a lot more options. So you can see all this really cool uh, real time shader. Um, how to get the gallery map cap? Okay, that's interesting. So we can have this material. Try. I'll I'll try one by one just as a demo. I really like this one, and this is the normal. Wow, that's the abstract one. The material looks so much better than 2.79. Um, yeah, that's really cool. They, I think Blender developers really need a credits on this. Well, anyhow, just leave it at this material. Okay, there you go. I think that's a quick look at uh, Blender 2.8 2.8 render engine. It's still under development. This is still again. Blender Alpha. In few months, it's gonna be official. But um, yeah, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, it's already quite powerful uh, before 2.8, but uh, with uh, this version, really, it's gonna be like so much, uh, so much, so much better in term of uh, in a lot of um, in a lot of ways uh, from the rendering and how it's gonna handle the PBR materials and also the with grease pencil and um, a lot yeah this is gonna be like so much like a uh, optimized and very much uh, production ready so there we go hopefully you enjoyed this one uh, let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye